E is equal to MC squared. Theory of relativity. 16 experiments showed that is wrong. But it's being taught even today in schools and colleges. Right? But 1925, there was a student in Zurich Polytechnic who was being taught by Einstein himself. And the student got up and said, and the old man was explaining, he is equal to MCS. He got up and said, sir, you're talking through your hat. It's all bullshit, he told. What will happen to a student who tells a Nobel laureate professor that he's talking bullshit? What will happen to the student? He becomes an outstanding student, standing outside. <laughs> For how many years? 30 years. And then gets the Nobel Prize. And the only Nobel Prize which is worth its gold is the Nobel Prize this student gets. And his name is Werner Heisenberg, who said, uncertainty principle. There's no certainty about anything. PQ is not equivalent to QP. 2 into 3 may be 6, but 3 into 2 need not be 6. We don't teach this in school. 2 into 2 is 4 always, right? Thermodynamics. Fluid can't grow up, can it? No. You keep liquid helium in a bowl, hang it up. After two days, the helium goes up and comes down. Where is thermodynamics? See? We don't believe this, do we? No. They said ether was there. Ether, that's where telephone used to go through ether. Now we know there is no ether. And you are still taught in school that inside an atom is a central nucleus and then electrons go round in circles, they jump from one thing to the other, right? 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 There's nothing inside any atom. There's nothing inside an atom. 1920, Annie Besant, Charles Leadbeater, her boyfriend, and Babington, their colleague, come from Cambridge to get more wisdom in India and go to Himalayas and meditate and become yogis. And she writes a book. Annie Besant has written a book. Next time you are in Chennai, buy this book. And the book is called Occult Chemistry. Small book. Occult Chemistry. Annie Besant. Annie Besant, you know, who started the Congress party with all the problems for us now. Anyway, now coming back to Annie Besant herself. She wrote this beautiful book where she says, when I become a yogic siddhi and when I get into that elevated state of consciousness, I can visualize the inside of atoms. And nine atoms from helium to hydrogen. And I know there is nothing inside an atom. When did she write? 1920. Now quantum physics says there is nothing inside an atom. Can you believe that? And this is what the books write and you read and you believe. And that's exactly what is called the Western medicine. My friend was telling yesterday, we have a wonderful drug now. What is that? Receptor blockers. And this, the minute you find a receptor blocker, you get a Nobel Prize. You find something very great, no Nobel Prize. Receptor blockers research is funded by the drug company. So they plant a man called Venkat Raman in Cambridge University. He finds a receptor blocker, he gets the Nobel Prize. But at the same time, the first receptor blocker researcher, Candace Pert, who was working in NIH under Saul Snyder, found out that the opioid receptors are outside the brain also. For the first time, she found out. But the boss stole the data and wrote a paper and tried to get a Nobel Prize. So this girl found out in time, went to the Nobel Committee, showing her ledger and said, it's my work, he has quoted. So the boss and the assistant both didn't get the Nobel Prize. The result was, this girl loses her job in NIH. Her name is Candace Spurt. What's her name? Candace Spurt. NIH is the, you know, the highest court or the highest palace for research in America. National Institute of Health. And Candace was thrown out. But she wrote a book. She wrote a beautiful book. Please read this book. Molecules of Emotion. What's the book? Molecules of Emotion. Candace Spurt. P-E-R-T, C-A-N-D-A-C-E. -E. And Candace writes in this book so beautifully, time has come for us now not to reach to a tablet counter when you have a headache, but to sit in a quiet place in your own house, meditate for a little while and elevate your consciousness and tell yourself their headache will go and the headache will go. This is called quantum healing. There's a beautiful book written by one Indian professor of physics in, in America. It's called Quantum Doctor. Please read that book. Quantum Doctor is a great professor. Probably Soporkar may know him. His name is, uh, what's his name? 
Goswami, Amit Goswami. Amit Goswami is professor of quantum physics in the University of University of uh, Eugene in uh, what is that place called? Oregon. And Amit is a very nice man. Amit has read a beautiful book. And Amit was nominated for Nobel three times but didn't get the Nobel Prize. Amit was the one who started that CERN reactor thing in France. Millions or billions, billions of dollars are spent there. Now Amit says it's a foolish thing because there are no particles at all. Why continue that? But people want to continue there because there is a big research grant. It's a joke. Western research is a joke. 